Hello friends, welcome back. For the past few months we've been sharing insights on how a natural diet-focused approach can address conditions once thought untreatable, all without relying on medications. This method, which centers around the carnivore diet, is challenging the dominance of both big food and big pharma with each passing day. But this challenge comes with its own hurdles. As we gain momentum, these powerful industries are pushing back with their vast resources, trying to control the narrative around what's truly healthy. With massive budgets at their disposal, these corporations are flooding media and research with messages that promote artificial and processed alternatives as the future of food. And it's not just about promoting their products. They're actively trying to undermine real whole foods that have sustained human health for generations. As some of the wealthiest figures in the world with deep ties to these industries push this agenda, it's becoming more crucial than ever to stay informed about what's actually on our plates. One such figure is Bill Gates, whose investments in synthetic food technologies have stirred up controversy. A recent article in highlighted a startup in California, funded by Gates, that is working to produce a synthetic butter. This company, named SA, is using a cutting-edge process involving air and carbon dioxide to create an artificial butter. That's right. They're making butter out of thin air, literally transforming carbon dioxide into a butter-like substance through a process known as thermochemical synthesis. On the surface, this may sound like a technological marvel. The product is being marketed as environmentally friendly, with claims of a lower carbon footprint compared to traditional butter. But there are some critical questions we need to ask. How does this synthetic product compare nutritionally to real butter? And is it truly safe for us to consume? Today, we'll explore these questions in detail, comparing the science, the health impacts, and the broader agenda behind replacing real foods with lab-grown alternatives. This story begins back in 2019 when Gates made significant investments in the synthetic food industry. His initial focus was on plant-based meats, backing companies like Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat, these products claim to be sustainable alternatives to traditional meat, offering solutions to climate change and food scarcity, but they are not without their controversies. These lab-grown meats contain highly processed ingredients like soy protein isolates, canola oil, and GMOs, substances that have sparked debates over their long-term effects on health. According to a report by Statista, the market for plant-based meat substitutes grew from $4.3 billion in 2020 to an estimated $8.3 billion in 2023. Investors like Gates see these products as highly scalable, but many nutrition experts argue that the health risks are significant. A 2019 study in the found that ultra-processed foods can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease by up to 31%. While companies promise sustainability, they often fall short in delivering products that are truly health-promoting. This brings us to 2023, where the focus has shifted from plant-based meats to dairy alternatives. Gates is now backing a company producing synthetic butter using carbon capture technology. This process involves capturing carbon dioxide and converting it into fats through a series of highly engineered steps. The fats are then chemically altered to mimic the taste and texture of real butter. While this might sound futuristic, it's important to consider the nutritional trade-offs involved. Real butter versus synthetic butter. What's the difference? To understand why this is a concern, let's break down the nutritional differences between real butter and its synthetic counterpart. Real butter, particularly when sourced from grass-fed cows, is a rich source of fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K2. These vitamins play crucial roles in maintaining strong bones, healthy skin, and a robust immune system. Additionally, real butter contains conjugated linoleic acid or CLA which has anti-inflammatory properties and has been linked to a lower risk of cancer. A study in the Journal of Dairy Science found that grass-fed butter contains significantly higher levels of these beneficial nutrients compared to butter from grain-fed cows. For those following a carnivore diet this nutrient density is a cornerstone of their approach to eating. The diet focuses on whole natural foods that are free from the chemical additives found in so many processed products today. Now let's look at synthetic butter. While it's designed to imitate the flavor and mouthfeel of real butter, it lacks the same nutritional profile. Synthetic butter is produced using genetically engineered microorganisms that convert carbon dioxide into fat-like molecules. These molecules are then processed further to create a butter-like texture. However, they lack the bioavailability of the natural vitamins and healthy fats found in real butter. Bioavailability is key. It's the body's ability to absorb and use the nutrients in food. 
Real Butter's natural fat matrix makes it easy for the body to metabolize and use its nutrients. In contrast, synthetic butter's fats are unfamiliar to our digestive systems, which could lead to nutrient malabsorption and even inflammation over time. A study published in Cell Metabolism in 2018 showed that consuming synthetic fats can increase insulin resistance by as much as 27%, raising concerns about their impact on metabolic health. Health Implications What are the risks? The potential health risks of synthetic butter go beyond just its lack of nutrients. The process of creating these lab-made fats involves using genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, to perform chemical conversions that don't occur naturally. These GMOs have been engineered to convert carbon dioxide into organic compounds through fermentation, a process that has never been a part of the natural human diet. While the companies producing these products claim they are safe, history has shown that new food technologies often come with hidden risks. Remember the introduction of trans fats in the 20th century? At the time, they were marketed as a healthier alternative to butter and animal fats. It wasn't until decades later that researchers discovered their link to heart disease, leading to widespread bans and restrictions. Could synthetic butter face a similar fate? Only time will tell, but the parallels are worth considering. Moreover, synthetic butter production often involves chemical additives to achieve the desired texture and stability. Emulsifiers, which are used to recreate the creaminess of real butter, have been shown to disrupt gut health. A 2015 study published in Nature found that emulsifiers can alter the gut microbiome, leading to inflammation and increased risk of metabolic disorders like obesity and type 2 diabetes. For those who prioritize gut health, this is a significant concern. Environmental claims. Are they legitimate? Proponents of synthetic butter argue that it's better for the environment, claiming that it reduces methane emissions from livestock. But the reality is more complex. While reducing livestock numbers may lower methane emissions, the process of producing synthetic butter is energy intensive. It requires bioreactors, chemical processing facilities, and an extensive distribution network, all of which contribute to the product's carbon footprint. Critics argue that true sustainability lies in regenerative farming practices, where animals are raised on pasture in ways that enrich the soil, sequester carbon, and promote biodiversity. Grass-fed butter from such systems not only supports a healthier ecosystem, but also produces a superior nutritional profile. This approach contrasts sharply with the industrial model of food production that synthetic butter represents. The bigger picture, why control the food system? So why is there such a push to replace real time-tested foods with synthetic alternatives? The answer lies in the economics of control. Unlike natural foods which cannot be patented, synthetic foods can be owned, controlled, and monopolized. This shift from natural to synthetic aligns with the interests of large corporations that see an opportunity to dominate the food supply chain. By controlling the production of synthetic foods, these companies can influence what ends up on our plates, often at the expense of nutrition. Big Pharma benefits too, as they develop treatments for the chronic diseases that are increasingly linked to modern diets. According to the World Health Organization, diet-related conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and obesity are responsible for 71% of global deaths, claiming nearly 41 million lives annually. The carnivore diet stands in stark opposition to this trend. It emphasizes whole natural foods like meat, butter, and eggs, foods that are free from the additives and ultra-processing found in many modern diets. Followers of the carnivore diet report benefits like improved digestion, reduced inflammation, and better overall health. But with the rise of synthetic alternatives like lab-made butter, there's a risk that these natural options could become less accessible. As artificial butter becomes more integrated into the food supply, consumers might be misled into believing it's equivalent to real butter. Yet as we've seen, the two are far from being the same. Let's delve deeper into the comparison between real and synthetic butter. Real butter, especially from grass-fed cows, provides a balance of short, medium, and long-chain fatty acids. These include butyric acid, which supports gut health and reduces inflammation. A 2020 study in gastroenterology found that butyric acid can decrease gut inflammation by up to 43%, making it an essential nutrient for digestive health. Artificial butter, however, lacks these beneficial compounds. While it may mimic the caloric and fat content of real butter, it fails to deliver the same benefits. And even though synthetic versions may be fortified with vitamins, they are often less bioavailable, meaning our bodies absorb them less efficiently. 
A study in the Journal of Nutrition showed that synthetic vitamin D, often added to fortified foods, is absorbed 30% less effectively than the naturally occurring form found in animal products like butter. Furthermore, the fatty acid profile of synthetic butter is skewed toward omega-6 fats, which, when consumed in excess, can promote inflammation. This imbalance is a major concern in today's diets, where omega-3 intake is often too low. Real butter, in contrast, contains a healthier balance that supports heart health and cognitive function. What does this mean for the carnivore diet? For those following the carnivore diet, which emphasizes nutrient-dense animal foods, the push toward synthetic alternatives is concerning. Butter, in particular, is a crucial part of the diet due to its rich content of essential fatty acids, complete proteins, and fat-soluble vitamins. Replacing real butter with synthetic versions could compromise the nutritional integrity of the diet, potentially leading to deficiencies and health issues over time. In this video, we aim to empower you with knowledge so you can make informed decisions about what's best for your health. The story of synthetic butter is part of a larger battle over how we eat and who controls our food. It's not just about one product, it's about the future of nutrition. Now, we'd love to hear from you. How has the carnivore diet impacted your health? What changes have you noticed in your energy levels? What changes have you noticed in your digestion? What changes have you noticed in your overall well-being? And how do you feel about the rise of synthetic foods in the market? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video informative, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into maintaining a natural and healthy lifestyle.